Hello and welcome to a new video. I am Tuomas and in this one I will be reviewing Surfer Girl, the third studio album by the Beach Boys. In my opinion, Surfer Girl is a major improvement uh, from the previous two albums by this group. The uh, first one being, of course, Surfing Safari, released in 1962, and the second one being Surfing USA, released earlier in 63, as was this also released in 63. The artwork, the cover photo, was taken in the same photo shoot that they did uh, for the Surfing Safari, their first record. I think probably the easiest way to do this is to go through the tracks, track by track, so let's just grab this thing. It's a reissue, don't worry. And my hands are not greasy this time. Uh, the album starts off uh, exceptionally, exceptionally with a ballad, Surfer Girl, the title track, which is the first tune that Brian ever wrote. Uh, and uh, Surfer Girl is a classic song right from the get-go. You get that really uh, memorable intro and uh, the vocals uh, everything about it is perfect uh, every time you hear this tune live it's a magical moment and uh, it is probably one of the top five tunes that uh, uh, Brian is known for the most I would dare to say, and uh, the melody, lyrics, everything about it, it's just pitch perfect. And uh, the harmonies, like, come on, like, if you do not love this tune, then something's really badly wrong with you. Uh, Catch a Wave is, again, another classic. It's a fun surfing-themed uh, tune and uh, very catchy and I love like throughout this album the organ work uh, <clears throat> the organs are just so cool and funny uh, and uh, I need to uh, praise the string arrangement in the surfer moon which I believe is like the first string arrangement in a Beach Boy record who dares to... is somebody calling me? God damn it. Oh my god. Boy, I have no idea anymore what I was talking prior to the phone call. So let's just grab the track list here and uh, I think I was talking about South Bay Surfer probably. And uh, I wanted to mention about these tracks in general that they are all uh, originals or uh, traditionals with new arrangements uh, by Brian and uh, that is once again like a pretty big uh, leap I would say even though like already Surfing Safari is mostly originals there is still cover tunes and uh, yeah I mean I like South Bay Surfer I think it's a cool little short very very short like that's actually uh, also a thing about this whole album. The whole album is just 25 minutes long and uh, it's crazy to think how short it is. Uh, even though it's filled with classic songs, it's just uh, unbelievable how much uh, musical, uh, uh, <laughs> musical trickery, musical moments, great, amazing musical moments uh, they were able to uh, compile to such a short time period uh, <clears throat> 25 minutes and that's like you know that includes surfer girl catch a wave all these great tunes in my room Hawaii come on like uh, I don't know sometimes I just miss this time period when music was made very dense and very uh, like there was nothing mm, uh, meaningless or uh, boring or useless 
in the music. I mean, I, I, I don't know how to put it in the words exactly, but I, I think you probably know what I mean. Like, there's not a five-minute guitar solo in the middle of a track just because you can do it, you know. Everything is made very uh, tight. Uh, and, uh, yeah, I mean, I just love that sort of thinking. <clears throat> Even though I do love five-minute guitar solos as well, when, you know, they have their place and time, but not here. <laughs> uh, the Rockin' Surfer is a very nice instrument, instrumental, and Little Do's Coop and Side A. Uh, I love vocals in this track, it's a classic, obviously. Uh, I love Dennis uh, uh, very clearly, uh, um, part that, uh, the part that you can hear very clearly, uh, the answer part in the chorus, I think. The Little Do's Coop, you don't know what I got. It's just super cool. And it's crazy that even this track is, it's, I'm looking at it right here, 1 minute and 38 seconds long, like, it's so freaking short, but it's still full of great musical little moments and things and uh, such a memorable melody. Uh, it's just, it's amazing. I mean, I couldn't even do like a good bass riff in that time. And here we have like a whole, I don't know, musical saga. Ah, not really, but <laughs> you know what I'm talking about. Excuse me, by the way, today I'm having like a serious brain fog and that phone call completely messed me up. I'm like, pff, I don't know what I'm talking about right now. So yeah, anyway. Side B opens up with In My Room, and In My Room is uh, like Surfer Girl, it's one of the classic Brian Wilson tunes, and uh, the lyrics are obviously now later on reflected a lot uh, upon Brian's own life, even though I believe the lyrics come mostly from, at least that's what I've heard Brian say at some point. I don't know how much of it is true, but that the lyrics are mainly from Gary Usher's uh, life and his, his uh, perspective, but who knows. But anyway, In My Room is uh, uh, very much similar to Surfer Girl in its production and uh, both are ballads. They are, uh, um, they are uh, talking about a completely different subject matters, but um, both are very heartfelt uh, emotional tunes, classic songs, and uh, just timeless. Uh, there's like nothing wrong with them, they are like pitch perfect. Hawaii uh, is uh, another classic tune. It was on a compilation album that I had as a, a CD a long time ago. That was the first Beach Boys album that I had, and uh, among with you know many other tunes, obviously. Hawaii wasn't the only track on that one, but I always loved that. I think it's just cool with the drums and everything. It's so catchy, fun, fast, quick. Uh, it just has like all these great ingredients of a, you know, classic Beach Boys tune. And uh, yeah, I mean, it's just a fun song and it's always fun to hear that live. Uh, Surface Rule, Our Car Club, both very good tunes. Nothing spectacular, um, pretty mediocre, good stuff. Uh, nothing wrong with them, but uh, not so memorable than the previous tunes on this album. Uh, I, I'd put them somewhere near probably the uh, quality of songs on Surfing the USA, so they are like very good, but not just like so, so, so memorable than, you know, these uh, tunes like Hawaii or In My Room. Uh, but anyway, just great early Beach Boys songs whatsoever. And then Your Summer Dream is an, another excellent track. Uh, the lead vocals by Brian are amazing and the whole, whole thing from start to finish is superb. Uh, it's just so uh, peaceful and relaxing. I really love this. It's one of my favorites uh, on this album. and. Uh, one of my favorite early Beach Boys tunes uh, in general. 
And uh, then the album ends up with Boogie Woody, which is this kind of like throwaway filler track. Uh, it kind of ruins the what would be a perfect ending with the previous track. Uh, where this do 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 it's like it comes out of nowhere, and I guess it's like a Brian thing he li he likes and like to do that later on as well, with many albums, like for example Friends ending up with Transcendental Meditation out of out of the blue, that's kind of like the same type of thing. I mean it's it's fun little surprise there, but if you have to put Boogie Woody in there, uh, I would have put it like maybe on side A or, or early side B rather than uh, at the last spot. But I think at this point in time, they weren't, nobody probably were uh, making albums as like cohesive uh, piece of art type of thing. It was mostly just, hey, let's just do an album. We have a couple singles here that were hits and then we have some other stuff and uh, that's pretty good. Okay, let's just throw them in there. Okay, now we have 20 minutes. Okay, we still need to get like at least five minutes. So let's just bang something out in the studio very fast. Okay, that's it. Okay, cool. Let's just put it in there and let's just sell it. I think that was probably like the thought process pretty much around that time. And then a few, a few years later, obviously, came uh, more, you know, the idea of creating something uh, more cohesive as a uh, piece of art like you know pet sound stuff and uh, obviously the Beatles help also uh, making that type of uh, thought uh, process more mainstream so to say or so to speak uh, uh, in the public eye but whatever uh, in general uh, Surfer Girl one of my favorite Beach Boys albums it's just uh, classic from start to finish artwork by the way, did I show you already the back cover? Probably not. I love it. Great photo. And uh, this is a reissue. So, you know, I think it's funny that Brian is like behind Mike over there in the shade. It's pretty weird. Brian should be, I think, leading somewhere over here because it's, it's you know, Brian's album pretty much. But what do you think about Surfer Girl? I love it. Big thumbs up. Uh, when did you hear it first time? I would love to hear your story. And uh, which one do you find the best out of the three first Beach Boys albums? This one, Surfing USA or Surfing Safari? What do you think? Like I said, I think this one is the greatest of them. Mm, but yeah, thanks for watching. We'll see you again on the next one. Subscribe if you are new here. and. Uh, Take care, have a good night, bye bye.